what is up future musicians it is me armand ronan the um i have no defining features so i am referred to as the fosh guy from now on so um yeah this is a conclusive uh music tutorial thingy after watching this video you guys will walk out here like the new um uh the new uh famous musician yeah all right now um what you want to do first set the bpm to um uh 522 it's the best trust me and um uh yeah let's just listen how fast that is isn't that just so peak okay now what you want to do uh get like uh, an instrument like flex or something then um go to pianos and get close grand and uh what you want to do next this is um uh yeah this is a uh, part one of the video the chord progression so uh first let's start off with um a fortnite note like um uh, f sharp and stretch it out like all the way and then uh pick a next note like like a sharp and then uh, let's go up and then uh, g g sharp and then finally we will get d sharp now let's listen to how that sounds isn't that just so awesome? Now um we can get on to part two of the video. First we're gonna like arrange these patterns and stuff. And then we will do drums. So first you get like a kick sample out of the obligatory sample pack that everybody needs to have. Let's get um a 36 kick four. I know it's just so awesome. Let's assign that to a mixer track. And uh, let's add EQ to that. Make Take the 3 knob, move it like that. Take the 7 knob, move it like that. Now let's listen to it. Doesn't it just sound so much more full? Um, now, um, now we arrange these into a loop. Now next up, next up, what we want to do, we want to find a snare sample. So let's do, uh, let's follow on the trend of shitty uh, samples. So let's use a 38 snare. You like how that sounds? Me neither. All right, so um, let's assign this to the same mixer track as 36 kick four, which is five. This is originally, and this is with the EQ and stuff. It just sounds so much better. Now I'll just turn the volume up to the max. Wait, hold on, let me just do that. And that. Oh wait, this is offset, hold on. And now we gotta we gotta take this and copy paste it everywhere. Like absolutely everywhere. Yeah. And uh just to just to make it sound extra good, let's do this. And then um take this and do this. And then take um fruity blood overdrive and do this times a hundred now let's hear isn't that just so awesome like um let's listen to that again all right now um um next up we're gonna take a loop a hi-hat loop yeah this one sure now um let's do this Let's just take this guy and fine tune it to be that. Now let's listen to that. So great, you can totally hear the uh you can totally hear the loop. So uh, let's just take this and add like hella EQ. Do that. Let's listen to that on its own. Now let's listen to this whole thing. Sweet, they're overpowering everything. Let's just turn that down a little so we can hear everything else. Isn't that just so peak? Now let's take the closed grand and uh, do the exact same thing that we did to the hi-hat loop. Let's do this, but then... Ooh, ah, ooh shiny. Let's do that. No. 
See, isn't this just so great? Okay, now next thing, we're gonna start with a base. Let's, um, uh, let's, uh, uh, um, uh, hit base. Let's do this, open a new channel. And then what we want to do, open new mixer track thingy. You get vinyl, a program that totally everybody has and everyone knows how to get, definitely. You do settings 2000, wear all the way up. Output all, uh, input all the way up, wear a little bit down, and then, uh, that. And then let's, uh, Mm, what are we gonna do? We are going to do the funny. And by that, I mean we are going to take a note like C or something. And like shorten that. Like hella shorten it. And uh, do this. This is definitely how you make a bass. And you should all do this in every single one of your songs. Now let's listen to that, how, how that sounds. Oh, it's not loud enough. Let's just, um, you know. Isn't that just so great? Now let's do um let's do one final thing. This is the last part. We're gonna um we're gonna add everybody's favorite overly sampled music thing. The Amen break. Let's just take a random one. Do that and um adjust it to fit our song. Oh, perfect. Now let's listen to that. Actually, wait, hold on, let me just do that. And that. And that, now let's listen. Let's listen how that sounds on its own. It's a little too slow, don't you think? Let's just speed that up a little. Alright, now it's peak. Let's do this. Alright, this was a conclusive tutorial on how to make good epic music like popular musicians. Um, uh, um, yeah, okay. Thank you for watching!